Well, so I couldn't resist. I found a great deal on a used quantum mic, uh, which is a much faster spindle uh, speed than a, the standard uh, Mitutoyu micrometer, which I'll show here in a second. Anyway, it's just as, fa just as accurate, but a bit faster. And so that will definitely save some time around the shop. I did notice though, that because the spindle speed is much quicker, you really do have to be able to sneak up on what you're measuring and get really close to it before you get an accurate measurement. If you just go slamming the spindle into the anvil, it's a problem. So it is, you really still have to be a little more careful uh, with your measurements here. I'm holding it now for a minute or two, so you might see some variance in the millions just because of temperature. I have noticed that when I first calibrated it, uh, it was off by uh, five millions. And so now it's acclimated to my uh, room here and now it's a bit more stable. I've got a minute to tell you one inch standard. Uh, so let's see how it stacks up. Uh, I use it to calibrate my other Mitutoyu, my uh, one to two inch, and uh, that was a great uh, a great asset right there. So here you go. You can see uh, right now we're at uh, one inch exactly. Uh, this has been in my hand uh, for a second or two, um, and so it might show a little bit of variance in terms of temperature, uh, the standard that is, also the mic. Um, but generally speaking, uh, it's more accurate than I possibly could ever need. And that's fine with me because there's very few times I'll actually be <laughs> dealing with, uh, with the millionths uh, in my measurements. Most of the time I'll be in the thousandths and possibly in the tenths. But uh, generally speaking, this is uh, the mic for me. And so I'm very happy with it uh, despite, you know, whatever variance of temperature there could possibly be uh, down there at the end of it. So just to show you something to look out for here, as I was mentioning, if you because the spindle is so fast, you have to be careful when you're closing it up on a measurement. Uh, for example, if you just kind of go at it at a normal speed, what's going to happen is you're going to overshoot, uh, even before you start getting clicks. So you really have to sneak up on that and make sure that you approach it very slow and then engage the click, um, just so that you don't overshoot that measurement. So uh, whereas the other quant the other Mitutoyo mic, uh, you don't have that issue because it's slow enough where you won't go slamming that spindle uh, into the anvil. So again, uh, approach the end of your measurement very slowly and uh, you know then get a click or two and you should be good to go. Um, but um, and again also make sure you don't ram it all the way <laughs> past its stop point uh, which goes over just a little bit of an inch here uh, which is fine uh, and it's very quick to close up but again when you get to the end there uh, just sneak up on your your measurement there and, uh, and don't slam the spindle home. So I don't really have a scientific way to do the comparison between my standard uh, Mitutoyu uh, micrometer and this one, other than just kind of uh, observational <laughs> uh, speed here, I suppose. But um, I suppose I could measure it, but I'm not that uh, not that fastidious when it comes to time measurements. So again, here is the basic uh, rotational aspect of this guy, the quantum mic. You can see it's pretty darn quick. So let me go ahead and put this down and grab my standard Mitutoyu mic and spin the spindle here. And you can see that it's much slower. Um, again, just as accurate, uh, and it will zero out just fine. Uh, I've already cleaned the anvils, so we should be fine here. Uh, but because, again, it spins so much slower and it's a much minor, minor gradation, you don't have to be as careful, I suppose, as when you're sneaking up on the, the final measurement. This one's got the, uh, the friction, uh, not the clicky <laughs> uh, ratchet style. But uh, you can see here how, again, much slower, much finer, and um, a little more, a little, just a little slower. So again, quick comparison between the standard Mitutoyu uh, 0 to 1 inch mic here. You can see here, again, the spindle going nice and slow. Uh, very, very slow, very deliberate, very smooth, as all Mitutoyu instruments are. Um, but compare that with the Quantum mic, which is much faster and, again, just as accurate uh, as the other mic, but you really have to sneak up there on that, uh, on that anvil before you go slamming it into the anvil. So... Uh, very neat, very cool. I think this guy will still have its place. Probably is a stand micrometer, so I can do some quick comparisons with a part that's like kind of a known size. Uh, but for on the lathe or sort of just off the cuff type measurements, I think this quantum mic would be really a real boon in that I won't have to, you know, roll that thing up my arm just to get a good a good measurement. So very happy with this with, with this purchase. And it's got the data input, so if I want to mess around with that, I can uh, see what that's out.